Welcome to Fabulous Lake Tahoe, your local's guide to the very best of America's year-round playground. I'm Jack Durst, and I'm here from the 22nd Annual Edgewood Celebrity Golf Tournament, sponsored by Lance Armstrong's Live Strong Charity and the American Century Insurance Company. Designed by famed golf designer George Fazio in 1968, Edgewood Tahoe's 18-hole course has been consistently rated one of America's top golf courses by Golf Magazine. Its tough but fair course design, paired with its beautiful location on the shores of Lake Tahoe, has made it a perennial favorite for televised golf tournaments since 1980. It features a brand new, eco-friendly lodge that provides modern world-class luxury amenities for thousands of golfers and spectators, while conforming to the strictest environmental standards. It pairs ample natural light controlled with automated shades, with a super-efficient building and a recent grounds redesign that dramatically reduces direct runoff of fertilizer and sediment from the golf course into the lake. The clubhouse will soon be joined by an exclusive LED Gold certified eco-hotel with over 200 lake view rooms on the links. For the last 22 years, the Celebrity Golf Championship has been packing the stands with spectators. They're looking for their best chance of the year to see their favorite sports and TV stars in person. Just counting who I saw on the first tee. I've seen some amazing people today. I saw Charles Barkley. I saw Ray Romano. I saw Baumgartner from The Office. A lot of really great people were playing today. You know, I've never seen such a star-studded event. On the practice green alone, I saw Denny Habert, who plays the president on 24, practicing his putts against NFL All-Pro quarterback Chris Chandler. As well as tournament favorite Dallas Cowboys quarterback Tony Romo, Afterward, Denny Habert was cool enough to come over to the railing and sign autographs for his throng of fans. Celebrity golf is one of the few chances most fans get to personally interact with their favorite stars, and I'm just totally amazed at how accessible for autographs everyone in the practice part of the course was. Even NBA legend Charles Barkley stopped on his way from practice to, ease, to, see, to the first hole to meet and greet all the people there. At the practice tees, it was the same story with TV star Ray Romano from Men of a Certain Age. I see why everyone loves Raymond still, even years after it was canceled, because he's still willing to take the time to be cool and sign for almost every fan who was lucky enough to make it to the railing. I caught up with Ray Romano's group again at the first hole where I saw Denny Habert tee off against Brian Baumgartner from The Office. Looks like Ray's pretty happy about that. 
Then I caught Chicago Bulls coach Vinny Del Negro teeing off against 16-year professional baseball player and all-star pitcher Brett Saberhagen and Mark Mulder. The game moved on, so I made my way back up the shore. Edgewood is probably the only golf course in the world where you can watch a major tournament from the deck of your party boat, and the shore was just packed with boaters watching the final holes from the beach. It was there on the lake side of the course that I caught up with the most famous group of the whole tournament. Michael Jordan, John Elway, and Tony Romo were all playing as a group. Michael Jordan had such a throng of fans that he had to have a police escort. I really only got to see one goal hole of golf played all the way through, but it was a great hole. Romo and Jordan both hit long drives along the lake shore. And I caught up with them again at the end of the hole where Michael Jordan was stuck in a sand trap when John Elway made one of his famous long putts. But, of course, no matter who wins, the most famous person always gets the long interview on NBC. Oh, 
I didn't get a shout out from Jordan, but my producer did get Green Bay Packers linebacker AJ Hawk to say this. Hi, I'm AJ Hawk. You're watching TNTV. Thank you. Cool. Appreciate it. So stay tuned to Fabulous Lake Tahoe. Thank you, and keep Tahoe blue. Bye.